the new year will ring in a lot of new laws and regulations. That includes changes to some health care plans. A Benicia man says changes to his health insurance will cut off a service he needs related to his dialysis treatments. A change he can't afford to pay out of pocket but is keeping him alive. ABC 7 News reporter Ansar Hassan has more on his fight to find a solution. It's not hard to die. It's hard to live. That's what I'm scared of. 65-year-old Joe Perez is blind and bound to a wheelchair. He's been doing dialysis three days a week for the past six years. What do you want to say to Marcel? Everything went well. It all began 20 years ago with the onset of his diabetes. When I started to lose my eyesight, my sugar stayed up so high, I was getting organ damage. And of course, the kidney was the one that took the toll. And so now I don't even urinate. I haven't urinated in four years now. Dialysis is what's keeping him alive. But changes to his Kaiser health insurance means an end to the free shuttle service that gets him to and from his treatments. They would like me to go to a different tier, but then I'd have to pay a whole lot more. And I just don't have that kind of money. There's no way. Perez is resourceful. The former mechanic owned his own business. He's built devices to help him navigate around his house. But living on Social Security means his finances are limited. Alternative shuttle services don't offer the door-to-door -door service he needs. The ones that do, he can't afford. But uh, I don't know what else to do. I'm up uh, to a rock and a hard place. I even tried to call the city. The ADA people down there, not even a call back yet. Perez says he just learned of the change two weeks ago. He's been working with Kaiser, but no solution. I started, uh, this is like last week, at uh, about 10.30 in the morning. I didn't get done with Kaiser until 4.30 in the afternoon, trying to find out ins and outs. Kaiser wasn't available for comment for this story, but several of their health care plans received five out of five stars in the annual Medicare star quality ratings for 2023. Press says he's not giving up. He has to fight. It's the only way for him to stay alive. If I stop between 17 and about 30 days, I will die. In Benicia, Ansar Hassan, ABC 7 News.